To draw your mascot today, you will need any piece of paper. We'd recommend the green DG58 sketchbook, a pencil, and any coloring supplies. If you want to use multiple, you can. I think I'm just going to stick with my awesome markers. To make our Highland Husky, let's start off with the basic shapes. With the head, it's going to be a circle. Mouth and nose, don't forget a secondary oval. Kind of like a bell shape off of the circle for the head. Or I guess it kind of it kind of looks like a gumdrop, doesn't it? The legs, you're gonna draw two ovals. For the paws, you're gonna draw again little, little rollos. For the legs off to the side, you're going to draw kind of two U's that come off. And again, your little rollos. And then the tail, which is a long curved triangle. And for the bottom of the body, you kind of draw a curved line that goes back in space. You start with the head. For the ears, you're going to start with a straight line that goes up right in the middle and draw two little triangles. It kind of looks like um, like a little snake. For the inner ear, you're going to start, you're gonna give your little space in between because the outside of the ear is gonna be black, the inside can be white. You're gonna go up, triangle, two little triangles. For the nose, you're gonna start at the top of that oval you drew, then draw kind of like around this. So two, two lines going off the edge. You kind of have like, it kind of looks like a C. You're gonna curve in. And then you're going to go down and draw a mini one. So you kind of have this little mushroom cap. Add a little, little circle for the highlight of the nose. So you're gonna draw two lines going right off that little mushroom nose. A line going off the side. So you kind of have like two arms, they're like two bended arms that are like, what, what's going on? How cool is this amazing husky we're drawing? And two lines back up. Uh, for the patterns, we're gonna do the patterns next on the um, on the husky. You're gonna draw a line that goes directly above this nose. Curve and curve. And now, what's gonna happen now is you're gonna see a bunch of organic shapes. There's no right way to create the husky um, the husky pattern as long as you're really flowy with your lines. So you go up. You go up first around the sides where the eyes are gonna go. You go and you can start adding organic shapes. These kind of look different every time I do them. The head, two straight lines that go down. And then I can actually. For the eyes, you're gonna draw like the end of a spatula. Um, I, I'm thinking about, I guess I'm thinking a lot about baking today. Um, <laughs> but you're gonna go up curved line near the back of the eye and back in. Circles for the pupils. And then you're gonna thicken up this line. You're gonna really add in some extra. For the, oh, I forgot for the bottom of that mouth, don't forget a little. You, there's the bottom. For the body, I'm going to, again, continue my organic shapes down this side. Now, I like to go out a little bit more around the, um, on the chest. I'm going to erase the tops of my legs that I drew earlier. I'm gonna draw two little lines that show the inner legs. And then what I'm gonna do, you ready for the magic? Oh yeah, you're ready for the magic. I'm gonna curve a little inward, because this is where the legs are. I'm gonna go straight line down towards the top of your little Rolo foot pads. I actually made this line too severe. Don't don't go too far in. And you're gonna draw a straight line down, straight line down. This is where the magic of the perspective of the paw happens. Are you ready? Okay. Straight line across. Diagonal line out to the side. Straight line down. Curve it. 
and back up to meet the back. You can also continue some of the organic shapes to the top of the leg. Then, all you gotta do, you can leave this basically be, but we got the draw to draw the pads on the feet. So again, straight line across, diagonal line down, straight line down, curve it. Add your little lights. For the tail, you're going to start by going off the end. And then you're kind of gonna add this. You're basically just basically just adding a little fluff. So add a bunch of little triangles going down towards the leg. And same thing again for that inner pattern. Oh, the husky is mainly black and white. And the only really color you see is the eyes. I actually think I'm gonna grab this color for the eyes. So if you want your husky to be a different color, if you want it to be gray or brown, you know, huskies are lots of colors. Our particular husky blue, the husky is black. Um, but you can have, you know, if you want to add stuff to the background, if you want to add anything else of that sort, feel free to do so. <laughs>